Space is a harsh place. So how do we keep astronauts comfy while they're out there? Let's find out in this episode of How to Build a Spaceship. It takes a lot of tech to make space a hospitable place. The collective name for all the bits and pieces that keep astronauts comfortable on the International Space Station is ECLIS, the Environmental Control and Life Support System. There are a lot of pieces that go into ECLIS. A big one is the thermal control system to keep things at a comfortable temperature. You never see pictures of astronauts wearing sweaters on the space station. Why is that? The ISS can get hot. In space, there is no air to pull heat away from the International Space Station. In physics, we call this convection. So we need radiators to get rid of the heat. Heat exchangers are another important piece of the system. Think of these as air conditioning in space. They cool the air and reduce the humidity. On Earth, things are usually cooled by conduction or convection of heat into the air. But when it comes to spaceships, there's no air, so the heat has to be radiated out of the spacecraft and into space. If you've ever spent time in a closed, unventilated space, you know things can get funky pretty fast. And on a spaceship or a space station, you can't open a window to air things out. So to keep things smelling fresh and remove contaminants from the air, future astronauts will be able to take advantage of Honeywell technology called a photocatalytic oxidizer basically an air filter on steroids. So how do the life support systems on the space station differ from, say, an airplane or a submarine? So unlike an airplane or a submarine, the ISS can never land or surface, and therefore it can never open itself up to the atmosphere of Earth. So it needs to be entirely self-sufficient, which means everything needs to be recycled, and for every contaminant, we need to have a way to remove it. Could Honeywell's Equus technology that's used to clean up the air on the space station be used to clean up the air here on Earth if it gets too polluted? Absolutely. Honeywell's Equus technologies could definitely be used one day to clean up pollutants and benefit life here on Earth. I'm Phoebe Henson, and I'm a proud space nerd. Air and water recycling, waste management, and fire detection and suppression are also pieces of Equus. Together, these systems help keep astronauts alive and comfortable in space. You can even sip an espresso while you gaze out the window and stare at the Earth beneath you. Although, I prefer a cup of Earl Grey myself. 